hello guys uh welcome to this exciting tutorial today what i'm going to show you is to how to use this same image to create a multiple hand in photoshop let's just get into it now if you look over here i have this image this is a single image but i have two layer here i have the background layer then i have this layer so if i turn off the background layer the layer 2 you see the background layer so these are two separate layers so what i did was to um cut out the image cut out the target from this background so that it stays on its own layer without any background and if you want to know how i did this just make sure you um take a look at my tutorial on how to remove background from an image so you just get in touch with that and um, you follow along with this all right now this is the background that i have under it which is the original background now this is the target now you might also be wondering how did i cut out these um how did i cut out the target how did i make the background not to have the target and if you want to know that i use um content aware system from phil after making a selection just quickly go back to my tutorial how to make someone disappear from an image that will also give you a hint of how i did that all right we want to make him to have multiple hands and uh, what we are going to do is actually very simple i'm going to make a copy of this image by dragging it to this layer thumbnail and i'm also going to right click on the layer convert it to a smart object now if it's a smart object it's going to maintain some of the resolution and you know photoshop will treat it as a smart object which if we want to edit we can easily come to smart object and start doing all of the editing i'm going to still create a tutorial on how to tell you more things about smart object in photoshop and what you can do with them but we need to convert this to a smart object so that we can use the puppet warp tool effectively on this layer so just come over to your edit and click on puppet warp tool as i've done here that will allow you to insert pin now under the puppet warp property we can decide to show the mesh so that you can see the mesh that is guiding this character but what we are going to do is to hide the mesh then we insert pins by clicking just like that the place we want to deform so i'm going to insert pins to tighten up this place just by clicking in case you don't want any of this pin maybe i mistakenly insert a pin here and you want to get rid of it it's pretty much easy just right click on the pin and delete pin very easy now this will allow us to reposition this image how could it start you can see we are actually bending his hand so how we want this hand to be bent is entirely up to us now uh, i just want to bend this a little bit um, somewhere here then i'm also going to bend this somewhere here all right so um, i'm gonna click check just to accept this change you can see he has double hand so what i can do is to make copy of this same layer i don't need to go to a date and use puppet warp i can actually double click on it here so it's gonna review that so what i'm going to do is to bring this one down and bring this one down like this remember i told you that we want to make him have multiple hands in photoshop so how cool is that so i'm gonna say check then uh, make another copy we want him to have eight hands so let's double click on this and bring this actually more around this place like this now i'm going to bring this somewhere here i really want this to be realistic so i'm going to insert some pins here and straighten up this hand like this you can see that because his hand is, has started to bend somewhere around here okay so somewhere here you see very easy you can do so many things when you have multiple hands <laughs> so this is how to make um, an image of someone to have multiple hands 
inside of Photoshop. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, if you like this tutorial, subscribe for more and also leave your comments on the comment box. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.